everybody, put your hands up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is up? The King of Lightning. I love that song. That is a damn good OST. I love that opening. I'm going down that shit. I'm here today to do Death Parade Episode 5 review. And if you haven't seen it yet, go in the link in the box below on Funimation.com where you can view it for yourself legally if you have a subscription. And if you don't, well, you know the damn drill. Now... This episode was very different than what we've seen thus far. Because, first of all, we actually get, like, a certain degree of fighting. And I was like, huh, really? And it looks like these Arbiters aren't really, like, they're not all knights, all right? They're not all buddy-buddy, pinky swear, no. And you have this guy who, he reminds me a lot of Renji. He really does, from Bleach. And his name is Ginty. So, when it comes to character introduction, that's like the most important thing here. Char character introduction. You have Ginty, you have Castra, who manages all the deaths across either the planet or just Japan. I'm not too sure. Because I think... Yeah, I'm not too sure because... No, it is too much, I think, for just one country. Because when Castra was looking at the globe, she was zooming in on Japan, and she mentioned how this, like, for the past hour, they've gotten, like, 7,000 deaths, and I'm like, that's, in that, you know, that's insane. So, you need to have a lot of arbiters judge these folks that have died in various different ways, whether it be the whole couple thing, or the pair thing that Deckham does, or... Let's say singles or entire groups, stuff like that. So that's not confirmed yet about how they operate, but the fact of the matter is that they have to manage a lot of folks, whether they are set into the void or reincarnation. And then you have Oculus, who is the old guy playing pool. I mean, they call it billiards or whatever. I'm called pool, fuck it. He's playing pool with, no uh, with uh, Nona. And it was kind of cool because they're playing pool with, like, the solar system. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's pretty neat. You have the sun, you have Jupiter. And the actual balls look the same size when they're on the pool table. But when you actually score a point and they go into the hole, they come out on the bottom in, like, the size of, like, like an actual representation of the size of the solar system. And I'm like, that's, that's pretty neat. So... It is what it is. Now, that's the most important part here. Because these characters are obviously very important. In fact, episode, the next episode, uh, whoa, next episode, episode 6, it looks like it's going to be centered around Ginty. And you had uh, Clavens, or Clavens, whatever his name is, the guy with the elevator. He told Deckham that he and the chick, the girl with the black hair, was on break. Now, other things that are important where, number one, you have the girl with the black hair. She has this dream. And the dream that she's dreaming about is based on the book that Nona has. And I think they call it because... I remember when we first saw the girl with the black hair. She... Or at least a part of her backstory at this point in time is, yeah, she has no memory. But at one point in time, when her memories were erased, apparently, she woke up on, like, a bed of leaves next to Nona. So... I think Nona may have done something to alter her memory, the girl with the black hair, and she used that book. Now, I'm not too sure what's going on. I mean, that's my speculation, because it doesn't tie into, at least I don't think it ties into that girl's life, because she's a human. She is not an arbiter. Apparently, arbiters and humans are different. And, I mean, they have the eye, they take in the memory, whatever. And pretty much... What they're saying here is that her judgment has been prolonged because she didn't know who she was even after she played a game of some kind, apparently. And she is now assisting Deckham, and apparently Deckham, he's been in R for like five years. Nona, she's been the manager for 82 years. So she's been in Arbiter for even longer than that, I would assume. Because the managers are above the Arbiters. But they themselves are probably Arbiters. I can't say all, but most of them are, I, I would assume. And then, you have 
let's go over to Oculus, very simple. Oculus, he appears to be like the head honcho of this entire facility. And it must be freaking huge if they're managing if they're managing 7,000 deaths a freaking hour. And when they're playing, after they're done playing pool and Nona leaves, and she has that comment about, well, ask God, like, why do you keep on losing? He says some along the lines of, God is long gone after she's gone. I'm like, fucking shit, like... Like, so, so, God is long gone. He just peaced, like, deuces, gone. I'm outie, all right? You, y'all deal with Earth. I'm doing some other shit. I mean, so much for being omnipresent, omnipotent, all-knowing, no, whatever, fuck it. So, point here is, it was just fascinating to realize that I mean, from what we understand at this point in time, it looks like God left Oculus in charge of Earth to manage the deaths of re and you know manage uh, the Void and reincarnation. That was interesting. And then you had the whole thing where, so now we oh and and, and I guess Castro's whole thing was I mean, very simple. I guess she just manages the whole influx of souls. That's my assumption. We also find out that when it comes to... Well, let me go over to, like, what, what was the main meat? The main meat was Deckham versus fucking Ginty. And I was like, what? It, that, that was weird, but it was some cool shit. Because, I mean, first of all, it looks like some shit's going down where, like, this one guy, he remembers he came back here. So I'm thinking, okay, so my assumption was this. At first, the kid didn't know, but the, but the dude who he found out was actually a puppet. I assumed that he was, a, he, he was someone... Who came in before, and like another life was reincarnated, and then was here again. I like when he died again. I mean, that's what I thought, but no, I, there were false memories. And then you have the kid he knock out the girl with the black hair, and then he's like, "Yeah, hey, uh, uh, he's he, he's just fucking with damn Deckham. Deckham strings the, the string attacks the kid does backflips, and then all of a sudden he gets caught up." And then his voice changed all of a sudden, fucking Ginty. And he's controlling water and shit. So you have Waterman, you have Aquaman versus Spider-Man going on right now. And it was it was fascinating. And by the way, they're, they're all bartenders, all right? Keep <laughs> and he does like this thing where like he takes like these two little containers, spins them around, yeah, makes like this freaking X water, like Orb thing, it's pretty damn cool. He snaps Deckham fucking blocks that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I never thought that I'd actually see combat in the series. I never thought that once, but apparently we get combat. And when he's dodging all the chairs and shit, he's coming towards Deckham. In comes known out of nowhere, fucking Larry here, like JBL, gone. And then what she does. I think is her power, which as it, I'm pretty sure it's like to like absorb or I'm, I'm not too sure, but I think she can manipulate energy to a certain degree, like absorb it or give it away because we have her earrings light up and then she like takes him out. She takes out Ginty, can't move. You have Clavins or Clavins, he's fucking around with Ginty like, <laughs> yeah, you suck, bro, you suck. And then he's like, fuck you, I'm going to kill you. Then he gets knocked out. And then when you have Nona and Deckham finally finish talking, she puts his hand on Ginty's back, and then he wakes up, and then her bracelet glows. So I'm assuming that she can just consume and distribute and redistribute energy. That's my thing, like health, energy, something like that. Because he couldn't move when she did her thing, and he was just on the damn bar, like, yeah, like he was done pretty much. But once she puts his hand over his back and her bracelet glows, he's fully recovered from whatever she did. Now, it could have been for, let's say, comedic reasons, but at the end of the day, I think it is her power. That's what I believe is going on. And when I say comedic reasons, I mean that, like, he got up fully recovered because that moment where he got taken out and he had like the squealy voice and it was pretty funny you have Deckham actually like cover his eyes and shit because he has the hair on this side okay yeah so that could have been all for comedic purposes I'm not too sure but it was fascinating nonetheless so very intriguing and now we have what appears to be this situation where Nona Deckham 
Ginty, Castro, because she's an Arbor too. She has the cross I think going on, though hers are like an X as opposed to an actual cross. It looks like because they actually have like time frames. Like they're not like I, I would assume they're not like immortal. I mean, then again, I'm, I'm not too sure because you have Oculus talk to Nona about well, they're basically how she he's surprised that she lasted this long as a manager or as an arbiter in general. As if, like, to say that there's something else going on. Like, as if, like, there's something else available for Nona and company. So, at this point in time, these people, these arbiters and the managers, they're the ones in charge of the entirety of Earth because God has left to do other shit. And this was a test that, because apparently they do this in a few times. I don't know when, I don't know what the rate is, but they, they, they do it sometimes where they test the arbiters to see if they're still up to snuff. And it looks like Deckham failed the test. But he's not being kicked off of his position. In fact, he's getting a day off. I don't know what's going on here. It's kind of, normally, when you fail something like that, you wouldn't take a day off because of it. It's kind of weird. So, either way, it's fascinating how everything is... How there are more, that there are more things coming to light. And how the scale is, to me... Much bigger than first perceived. Now, granted, we're not going to watch all of the managers and all the arbiters do their thing and, you know, whatever, whatever. But it's not a perfect system as always. But it's a system that in of itself is fascinating. And when you throw in that possibility that God has left, that's even more intriguing. So it is what it is. And I'll leave it at that. So, the King of Lightning, oh, hold on. The animation overall pretty damn good. When it came to the fight stuff, especially. When you had Ginty dodging this shit. When he made the war thing snap and then decking blocks. I'm like, fuck. That was good. And then you had... Well, because the girl with the black hair, she had more of a back roll in this episode. Because she was knocked out for the majority of it. So, I can't say she got any character development. But... You did get character development for Nona to a certain degree. Oculus introduction, Gideon introduction, Castro in introduction as well. Deckham, his character development is kind of. It's there, but it's not a lot at all. Because he doesn't really emote a lot. However, he did have a flashback of. Remember the previous episode where they were playing the, the arcade game? And then Deccan was pushing the button to bring out the darkness of the two competitors because he wanted to judge them. And the girl with the black hair said, well, that, well like this is some bullshit. Because you're basically rigging the system. You're cheating. And Deccan thought about that for a while. At the end of the credits of the last episode, he grabs that device and he stares at it. And this episode again, he has that same flashback image of Nona, of um, not Nona, of the girl with the black hair taking that device and throwing it on the ground. But you have the counter message because he, he, at this point in time, he's been an arbiter for five years. But he has a counter uh, a message from Nona where this is what you got to do. You got to take pride in being an arbiter. We have to judge people based on the darkness within their hearts. However, I'm thinking that all of a sudden we're now going to incorporate a different side of things. Where the darkness of the heart doesn't have to be the only judgment or it doesn't have to be the only indication as to whether or not someone can go to heaven or hell, to reincarnation of the void. And the girl with the black hair in episode uh, 2 explains that fairly well. Where the wife of the couple, she was probably putting on a facade. Deccan found that very unusual, like, why would you lie when you found out that you're already dead? There's no reason to lie at this point in time. But the wife felt sorry for her husband. Because all he wanted was a decent family. And she, and then the fact that he killed his unborn child, her, and him, was a big blow. To his psyche, obviously. And he sent her to nothingness because of her facade. So... It's very important to have another opinion on the matter that is not melt that has not been molded by this facility. It looks like 
and I guess here's because because I'm not too sure if that's where they're going with this, but this is where I think they may be going with this. It may be more appropriate for humans to judge other humans as opposed to leaving beings that are higher power judge other humans. Because humans have a strong connection with other humans, and they're going to notice things that the Arbors won't. The girl with the black hair noticed several different things about this situation involving that couple that Deckham did not notice at all. And that just could be his personality, I'm not too sure. But it could be a standard depending on if they think, like for example, the girl with the black hair, she's not just an assistant for Deccan, but also for Ginty. And even though Ginty wants to see her be judged, he could give her some insight as well. Or I'm sorry, he, she could give him some insight that he may not, you know, a few things that he may have realized. Very possible. It, it's very possible. So overall, I'd say I'm done. The episode overall, I did like it a lot. I'm going to give it a rating of a great, good plus a great. And I will see you guys and guys later. King Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe. Have a nice one. And, and make sure to rate the video. Okay? It ain't that fucking hard, ladies and gentlemen. It's a simple fucking mouse. Click, and you're done. All right. There you go. Yay. Yay. Yay.